Well, wouldn't you know, uh, <laughs> I'm ready to make a video on how you can launch your apps using your voice. There's several ways of doing it, and we wanted to explore together which way is probably the fastest, slickest, easiest, most efficient, all that stuff. So I rebooted the ZGPAX S8 watch, and guess what? It's doing what I covered in a previous video but couldn't get it to do. When I rebooted it, all of my previous pages have all of my apps installed but no folders. It like completely lost my user interface. Look at all the dots. This is what I wanted to show you folks. I'm going back to the home page by hitting that one. I come over here to one page back. I pick one, any one. Let's take Clean Master. I slide it over, I let it go, and it says, unfortunately, launcher has stopped. Okay. It reboots the launcher, and it's actually going to load everything up just the way it should be. So if your watch doesn't boot up correctly each time, and you get that occurrence, where all your apps are showing on the left-hand page, you just saw how to fix it. it takes it a moment or two. So what we're going to do is presume that you're going to use your watch, you're in a Wi-Fi zone, or you've got enough data in your data plan to be able to actually touch an app and ask it to open another app. What I typically have been using is either Google or Speech to Clipboard. So we're going to go through each of these cold. Now, none of these have loaded into memory yet. So on first launch, it's got to load itself into memory. It's got to call up the voice actuator. Then it's got to interpret what you're saying and get a feel for how long that takes. Let's start with Google. Here we go. It says, say, OK, Google. Open Tippy Tipper. There you go. My tip app. I covered it because it's got all the other stuff that, you know, Google Now puts out and it's personal kind of stuff. So you get the drift. But anyway, uh, using Google, you can easily ask it to open an app and it doesn't take terribly long. The one I've been using a lot is Speech to Clipboard. It does the same thing, but it also has the feature we covered in another review where if I start my sentence with paste and then talk, it will hold on to that in the clipboard and give me the option of various apps that I can paste what I just said into. That's really handy, but it also will launch apps. Open Tippy Tipper. It's small, it's efficient, it's pretty quick. At least it used to be. There you go. Now remember, this is first launched for all of these. After it's already been launched and in memory, if you don't clear out memory, it's going to be faster the second time around. Okay. So those are two ways of launching apps that could be anywhere on your phone in any folder doing it with your voice. But wait, there's more. The dot. Remember the dot? Let's go back to where I have assistance. Where's my assistance? Action. Okay. Oh, right there, right there. We have assistance that we can launch with as well, and we're going to show you these. But first, let's talk about that dot. The dot that hovers over every page, even open ones, is an app in and of itself as well. And if I touch the dot... This is the trick. It's trying to actually touch the dot. You see the residual dot? I miss it a lot. There we go. Open Tippy Tipper. Loading in memory. Processing command. Taking a while. But it floats on top of everything. So if you want that functionality, you got it. Okay, let's look at assistants. We have three different digital assistants. We launch assistant first. The app has to load. This is for way more than opening apps, but it's kind of cute if you want to show off and your digital assistant comes up and talks to you. Great to see you again. What can I do for you? Open Tippy Tipper.
It's thinking, processing. Here you go. To be tipper is now open. Yes. I'm letting it run real time, folks, so you can get bored right along with me. There you go. Enter bill amount. Well, we did that. Let's calculate. All right. On a $22.54 charge at a tip of 15%, the total is right there. We'll come back and play more with it. I'm showing you, you know, all this stuff plus how to use Tippy Tipper. Okay. That's assistant. Rather long, rather complex, but kind of fun. AIVC is yet another um, digital assistant loading first time into memory now. Comes up but doesn't start right away, which is kind of nice. You have the chance to finish your sentence and then press the button. Open Tippy Tipper. Installation is still in progress. All right, or initialization. So it isn't even initialized yet. Let's try it again. Maybe it's in there. Uh, I haven't set this up. It's trying to use the camera. I don't know why it wants to use the camera to open. Okay, starting tippy tipper. Okay, you got it. So that's a little flaky in its ability in right away. I didn't actually use it before, so it had to do its setup. Let's try it one more time. Open Tippy Tipper. Okay, starting Tippy Tipper. Yeah, see how much faster it can be. Oh, I'm losing focus, sorry. There we go. So uh, that's the AIVC, which does a whole bunch of other stuff as well. And finally, Genie, another digital assistant. It says, Hi, how are you doing? But isn't speaking to me. Open Tippy Tipper. Says the command, but it's not doing it yet. There it is. Okay. So all of them are loaded in memory right now. If I were to press and hold, you see the list of them all. All the different things we've been using. All right. So now we're going to run through them one more time so you can see how they work after they've all been installed at least once. Okay, now I've gone through and cleared out all of the memory and starting over again, what I've done is I've loaded one app and let it load the calculator and then I closed it. So now you're going to get an idea one by one how fast this watch works when you already have initialized the first time. The reason we got to do that, the first time it needs to look at all of the apps installed and learn their names. And apparently that's repeated every time. So the first launch is going to be long, but after that it should be quicker. We're going to start with um, Floating Commander, which is the little dot here. Look for that app in the Play Store if you want to have this floating dot somewhere on your screen over everything and tap it. Open Tippy Tipper. Still says processing the command. It's still taking a long time. So this one apparently needs to look at all your apps each and every time you launch it, even though it's been launched once and is sitting resident in memory. But it does get the job done. It just takes forever. Okay, we'll be back with the next one after I clear the memory and load up the digital assistant. Okay, the next one we want to work with is the digital assistant. Already in memory, see how quickly it comes up. Open Tippy Tipper. Looking, looking, looking. I'm opening Tippy Tipper for you now. Okay, it still seems to take quite a bit of time. But it does have that nice thing about talking to you and stuff. So it's an elegant way of launching these apps. Okay, we're going to clear that one from memory and go to the next one.
Okay, we have loaded up the AIVC with the tippy tipper, and now we'll see how fast it is second pass. Open tippy tipper. Okay, starting tippy tipper. Nice. You see, it didn't have to go looking for it again. It already knew it was there, and it was really quick. So one option I'd suggest from what we've seen so far is AIVC as a possibility. Once it's run the first time, it's fast after that. All right, let's clear that one from memory and go to the next one. Here we go. We have already preloaded Genie, and now we're running it a second time. Comes up instantly. Open Tippy Tipper. And wow, that's by far the fastest. It instantly is up, it instantly launches the app that's already there, okay? So to my liking, Genie, as far as efficiency, Assistant, as far as cute, and Floating uh, Commander, as far as convenient. But we're not done yet. We still have on our home page our infamous, where we started with Speech to Clipboard. So we'll clear the memory and try that one. Okay, memory's been cleared. Speech to Clipboard loaded. Open Tippy Tipper. You notice it listens for a long time before it times out as well. Because it's basically to capture speech for pasting and doing other things. But it does open apps and about average in speed. So it's okay, but not as fast as uh, a couple of the other ones. And of course, the last one, we're going to love that, is Google. So we're going to clear the memory and do Google. Okay, memory is cleared. Google is preloaded. And here we go. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Open Tippy Tipper. Boom. Very quick. Very, very quick. So, probably, if you're a Google fan, the Google app definitely stands out and is quick once it's preloaded once. And if you uh, like the digital assistants, Genie was in particularly fast. AIVC was pretty good. And of course, Assistant was the slowest. So what I'm going to do now that we've tested these all out, I'm going to take Genie over here. Whoa, come back here. You need to go into the folder. They play this game every now and then. Hey, drop me if you can. Whoa, no. Whoa, no. Oh, I just touched the dot and made it go away. So you're learning a lot by watching. Hey, come on. People are watching. There we go. Wonderful, Yui, huh? All right. I've got my Google, my Speech to Clipboard, and my Genie. So those are like my top-notch apps for doing all sorts of voice input kind of things. And I'm real pleased. So you know now how you can launch apps with your voice a variety of ways and which ones would actually work best in what situations. And um, hope that helps. Talk to you later.